and we back. Now I told y'all Mushroom Kenny was only for one day, and I got, I got my braids back. You know what? I was on Instagram early today, and I uploaded this this picture, right? Well, I just basically had all of my braids in a ponytail, and I have never been roasted so hard in my life. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it looked nice, but regardless, we're here to record a new video. I was looking at the comments on my last video. Y'all know I read all the comments. Shout out to everybody that be down there liking and, and commenting. And somebody said, Kenny, shake up the league. Take all 30 teams and trade their best play. See who goes where, see what teams get formed. And I was like, you know what? Random commenter that I love, I can do that. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video, okay? So I have control of all 30 NBA teams. I ain't gotta show you, you know what it is. And basically what I'm going to do is go to Trey Finder, 76ers, Joel and B. See there are 29 offers, one of them including Giannis. Go over here where I have a random number generator. The minimum is one and the maximum is 29. I'm gonna hit that button and we're going to do trade number 10. And we'll see what trade number 10 is. It's for Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. So just like that, that is a magnificent deal. A, a deal that I can't even process. We got Ben Simmons and Donovan Mitchell, who basically just battled for Rookie of the Year a few years ago, where they were throwing shots at each other. They're on the same team now. They got Tobias Harris, Al Horford, and now Rudy Gobert. Did this team get better? Or did it get worse? We're going to find out once we start simulating games. Next, we have the Milwaukee Bucks. And he only has 21 offers. Of course, we're talking about Giannis. So we're going to head over here, type in 21, and see what's up. Trade number 19 is the one we're going to do. And it's for Damian Lillard and CJ. They got to get traded for it together, right? As you can see, we're living in a hyper-fictional world here. So, you know, we're just shaking things up. And that trade gets them... A superstar point guard, a, a great shooting guard, Chris Middleton. Now they're running with Ursine at the power forward and Brooke Lopez. But, I mean, that's a deal that you don't hate. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Next team is the Bulls. All right, just give my Bulls something good. I love Zach Levine. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like there could be something out there for this Bulls team that can help them out. As 2K is taking a, a year to just show me. The trade-off. Okay, there's 29 of them. So we head over here again. 29, and we're going to accept trade number 28, which is for D'Angelo Russell. We're also trading Ryan Archidiakono. So that solves the Bulls' point guard problems, but now... Oh, no. They're going to be running Kobe White or Chris Dunn and D'Angelo Russell. Oh, that's a very interesting deal. Next, the Cleveland Cavaliers. 29 offers for Kevin Love. I think everybody's going to have around 29 offers. So generate that for us. Trade number 13, my favorite number. Let's see what's up. It's going to be for Cal Kuzma, LeBron, and Kevin Love back together. And they're also throwing, we're throwing in a pick for Cal Kuzma. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but also with this trade, it doesn't matter because, like I said, we're trading every team best player. So eventually LeBron will be traded. So Kevin Love and LeBron are on the same team for maybe like, what, four minutes before we get to the Lakers? So deal is done. And again, we're living in a hyper-fictional world. Next, we have Kimball Walker being dealt. 29 offers. And it's going to be trade number 22. Let's see what trade number 22 gives us. It will be for Russell Westbrook. Okay. Uh, yes, a fictional work. I got to keep stop saying that. But regardless, <laughs> uh, Russell Westbrook is now wearing green. He's wearing green to team up with JB and JT and back with his boy Inez Cantor. That's cool. As we go on to see what Kawhi is going to get traded. Only 20 offers for Kawhi. It seems like these super superstar players are getting less offers, which makes sense. Every team don't got an offer. Trade number 18 will be for Giannis. There it is, Giannis did not spend a single day in Portland. He is being sent to LA. I think he's gonna love the LA lifestyle. So the teams that have two stars are gonna be set because now we have Giannis and Paul George on the same team. MVP of last year and top three MVP candidate last year on the same team. Grizzlies best player is Jonas Valanciunas. Let's see what he brings. 29 offers there. 
and it will be i think he's gonna have some not so great trade value here so trade number 11 is going to give them harrison barnes a trade that uh don't matter too much i guess <laughs> harrison barnes is going to memphis next team is the atlanta hawks trey young is at the top even though he's tied with john collins we're going to use trey young in this trade 28 offers there's one team out that was like you know what we don't even want to offer nothing for trey young so 28 offers here and that's going to get us trade number 21 and that's going to send him to toronto for pascal siakam and Cal Lowry, wow, that's a, a magnificent haul for him. But now they have four or three of their top four players are power forwards. <laughs> so, uh, tough. Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler, 29 offers for Jimmy Butler. Just Jimmy? Every time I see the name Jimmy, I be wanting to say James. But Jimmy Butler is just Jimmy. It's not short for James. Look it up. Trade number seven. John Morant. They also threw in Justice Winslow. They traded two of their top pieces for John Morant. I guess they like, you know what? We need a youth movement, even though Justice Winslow is only 23. We need a youth movement, and John Morant is now going to enjoy uh, South Beach. And he's going to be their best player as far as overall goes. Next, the Hornets. <laughs> best player for the Hornets is Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller got 29 offers, but this is the type of offers. <laughs> these are the type of offers we're looking at. Jonah Bolden in a second. So let's see. 29, and we're going to trade number four, John Henson. A trade that does not matter whatsoever. <laughs> He's their best player, though. And now we move on to the Jazz. Now, since we've already done a deal with the Jazz's best player, we're going to move on. We already traded Donovan Mitchell. So we're moving on to the next team, which is the Kings. 29 offers for De'Aaron Fox. And we will be doing trade number six. And that's going to bring them Paul George. So those two top MVP candidates are no longer together. Sacramento gets an MVP caliber player and Montrez Harrell. And then De'Aaron Fox is going to team up with Giannis. That fast break is going to be unstoppable. Let's move on to the Knicks, which have Julius Randle as their best player. 29 offers for Julius Randle, of course. And we're going to do trade number 12. And trade number 12 is going to give us... Buddy Heald, straight up for Buddy Heald. All right, Sacramento trading their two best players. But now Sacramento is looking like Paul George, Montrez, Harrow, Julius Randle. They also got the Jonas Valanciunas trade earlier. Went Bagley. All right, next team on our list is LeBron's Lakers. LeBron is being traded. 27 offers. Whoever gets this is winning the lottery. Trade number three. So it's going to be the Bulls. LeBron is coming to Chicago. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 this is not rigged. I promise you, this is not rigged. LeBron chasing MJ's footsteps. All right. And next we have the Orlando Magic was going to be, of course, Nikola Vucevic. The Bulls got LeBron. I am... I am super happy about that. We went from Zach Levine to D'Angelo Russell to LeBron in two trades. Next, Orlando Magic. This low time is ridiculous. But we get 29 trades, of course. And we got to change this to 29. And trade number seven. Teams in the beginning are getting a lot of trades done. The Memphis Grizzlies are trading Jimmy Butler to Orlando. Jimmy Butler comes to Orlando there. Next is the Mavericks. And that is going to be... Luca is at the top. Now you can argue with the person that created this roster who's better between Luca and Porzingis, but he also has 29 offers, and that's going to give us trade number 19. Trade number 19 is going to give us Lonzo and Brandon Ingram. So the Pelicans pull off a trade to bring in Luka Doncic, and I think earlier. I forget who did they make a trade earlier? I guess we'll find out when we get to them. And next. Kevin Durant is moving on to his next team, his next chapter, and it's only 15 offers here. So let's see, out of 15, which of these teams are getting Kevin Durant. Trade number five is going to be for Giannis, yo, and the Aaron Fox. Why would you trade Giannis and the Aaron? Wow, wow, I can, I don't know what's going through their brain, but deal is done. Deal is done, and Jokic is traded next. 
Now, Jokic is one of my sleeper picks for MVP next season if you do need to know. And that's 28 offers for Jokic here. Who's going to end up? Trade number four. Another beginning of the pack team, and it's the Cavaliers. Trading both of their young point guards, and I think they got another one. No, they brought in Cal Kuzma earlier. So Cal Kuzma and Jokic are now on the team together. Now see how that works out. The Pacers, of course, is Victor Oladipo. See how many trade offers he gets. 29, of course. So I probably should have figured that out. 29 for Victor Oladipo. And trade number 18 is the one we're going to do. And that will give them Darius Garland and Paul Millsap. But they also are getting DeMontis Sabonis. So they just traded Jokic, but they give back Victor Oladipo, DeMontis Sabonis, and Colin Sexton in two deals. I mean, all things considered, probably not terrible. Now the Pelicans, their best player is Drew Holiday. So whatever trade we do, it's going to have Luka, Zion, and a question mark. Who's next? 29 offers. That took forever, by the way. That, that took forever. 29 offers. Trade number three. One, two, the Bulls. So the Bulls are going to have LeBron, Andrew Holiday, and the Marksman. Oh, my God. It's a wet dream for me. Next is the Pistons, and that is, of course, going to be Blake Griffin. 29 offers for Blake, and we're doing trade number 12. And trade number 12 is going to give them Julius Randle and Valanciunas. So the Kings are going to be looking like Paul George and Blake Griffin and Matres Harrell, Marvin Bagley. That's not a terrible trade. Deal. Deal, deal, deal for the Pistons. So now we're, we're wrapping up because the Raptors, we already traded their best player, which was Siakam. James Harden is next. Oh, boy. So they just did the trade Kemba for Russell Westbrook. There's only 18 offers here for the Beard. Trade number five. One, two, three, four, five. The beard is going to Boston and Russell Westbrook is coming back, but he's bringing Jason Tatum with him. Wow, that's a that's a monster deal right there. So now we got this two-headed point guard monster. I guess they're going to be running Russell Westbrook as shooting guard and they have Jason Tatum, Clint Capella. Next team is the Spurs with DeMar DeRozan. 29 offers for DeMar DeRozan. And trade number 17 is the one we're doing here. And that's going to bring them Giannis. Giannis has been traded a total of three or four times in this video alone. They traded DeMar and LaMarcus to bring in Giannis who played under Greg Popovich. So Giannis, Rudy Gay, Derek White, DeJounte Murray. Defensively, this team is about to be decent. But now they don't have... Wow. Uh, Giannis, who they, their best center is now Jacopoto. Next, we have the Suns trading Devin Booker. 29 offers for Devin Booker. And we're doing trade number 16. Trade number 16 will give them Chris Stapps and Tim Hardaway Jr. Chris Stapps and Tim Hardaway Jr. deal is done. Next team is the Thunder, whose best player is Chris Paul, technically. We'll see what type of deal Chris Paul can bring in. Again, we're living in a fictional world where his contract don't matter. So you're trading for Chris Paul, just the person, not the contract. Keep that in mind. 29 offers, of course. And it's going to be trade number seven. Trade number seven is going to be with the Grizzlies, who are just trading Harrison Barnes here. So they're going to be looking like Nikola Vucevic, Chris Paul, and Jared Jackson Jr., Justice Winslow, Iggy. I mean, they're doing some things out there. Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns is next. 27 offers for Carl Anthony Towns. Not the usual 29 here. And trade number 23 is the one being done. Giannis is traded. <laughs> Again, Giannis is coming to Minnesota to be with Wiggins and Robert Covington and Jeff Teague and them. Wow. And so we're not doing a trade to Portland Trailblazers because Damian Lillard is already traded. The Warriors have to trade Stephen Curry. 27 offers for Stephen Curry. And we're doing trade number 17. Who is the lucky team? The Denver Nuggets are trading Victor Oladipo, Colin Sexton for Stephen Curry. Curry, Wardell, Stephen Curry. And lastly is the Wizards and Bradley Beal, technically right over John Wall. 29 offers there. The last official trade of the video. And that's going to be trade number 24 to send Bradley Beal to the Suns for Porzingis. 
and that will be the last trade. So I'm taking control of the Bulls here, but I'm not doing any trades, any signs, nothing like that. I just want to see how many games they end up winning. So since we did so many trades, I'm going to quickly go through every team so you can see who's where. Ben Simmons, Donovan Mitchell, Tobias Harris, Al Horford, Rudy Gobert, and Josh Richardson coming off the bench. Crazy team. Bucks have Dame, CJ, Chris Middleton, Ursine, and Brooke. The Bulls have LeBron, <laughs> Drew Holiday, Otto Porter, Laurie Marketing, and Wendell Carter. We better make the playoffs. The Cavs have have uh, Jordan Clarkson, Kevin Porter Jr., Cal Kuzma, Jokic, and Larry Nance. Austin Rivers is starting at point guard for the Celtics. Drew, um, sorry, James Harden, Jalen Brown, uh, Gordon Hayward, and Lance Cantor. Clips have Pat Bay of Lou Will, KD. Oh, boy. Paul George was traded, wasn't he? Yikes. Jermichael Green and Zubak. Grizzlies have Chris Paul, um, Josh Jackson, Jaron Jackson, Cal Anderson, Nikola Vucevic, Larry Reddish, Hunter, Collins, Lynn. Siakam is coming off the bench because John ja ja Collins and Siakam, neither of them is not really a, a center. So I guess Siakam's coming off the bench. <laughs> John ja Morant, Tyler Hero. They got two up and coming um, young players, 19 years old. This team is definitely a team that's going to be probably at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. Another team that will probably be at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. The Jazz have Mike Conley, Matisse Steibel, Bogdanovich. Is that Jeff Green and Joel Embiid? Not a terrible team if you ask me. Joe Ingles is still coming off the bench. Then we have the Kings with Corey Joe, Paul George, Blake Griffin, and Montrose Harrell coming off the bench. That's cool. Um, the Knicks look like... The Knicks, but now they have Buddy Hill coming off the bench. The Lakers have D'Angelo Russell back to pair alongside Anthony Davis and a healthy Boogie Cousins. Also, Kevin Love coming off the bench. Then we have Jimmy Butler in Orlando. The Mavericks have Devin Booker and Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball. Then DeMar DeRose is playing with Kyrie Irving and LaMarcus Aldridge. De'Aaron Fox is coming off the bench. Oh, my God. Steph Curry is in Denver with some bonus and... Jamal Murray coming off the bench. The Pacers are not looking great these days. Then we have the Pelicans team. Luka. Who did we? Who did they do a trade for? Who did Drew Holiday get traded for? I don't even remember. Oh, Chris Dunn. Yikes. Bad trade. Pistons have Julius Randle instead of um, instead of Blake Griffin, but also Valanciun is coming off the bench. The Raptors are looking like. A team that is starting to rebuild. Then we have the Rockets that have Kemba, Russell Westbrook, Jason Tatum. Their team looks a lot different. The Spurs now have Carthony Towns to pair alongside DeJounte Murray. The Suns have Aiden with Bradley Beal and Tim Hardaway Jr. off the bench. The Thunder didn't make many moves. I mean, the big move is Harrison Barnes. Then we have the Timberwolves who have Giannis. The Trailblazers have Kawhi. The Warriors have Victor Ladipo, and then the Wizards have poor Zingas. So I'm going to simulate. We're just going to go actually to all the way to the end of the season, then I'll recap everything that y'all missed. KD won MVP. Looks weird to have him there, um, but it is what it is. Zion still won Rookie of the Year. De'Aaron Fox won Sixth Man of the Year in Brooklyn. Giannis Defensive Player of the Year. Jordan Clarkson most improved. Doc Rivers wins Coach of the Year. This Bulls team did not... Make the play. LeBron only averaged 20, bro. What? LeBron, I'm, I'm going to show you all the stats, though, um, so don't trip. But this Bulls team didn't make the playoffs, y'all. Like, what? what is going on? What, what is going on? Like, how? LeBron just didn't show? Wait, I'm looking at playoff stats. So <laughs> That team ain't got no playoff stats. 20. LeBron averaged 20. I'm so confused. Like, I mean, it is what it is. We got LeBron missing the playoffs two years in a row. But all right, I wanted to go league leaders to see if there's any outliers around here. Uh, all of these players, new teams, obviously. Um, no real outliers. Like somebody that just surprised the league. Pascal Siakam, wasn't he coming off the bench? Whoa, whoa. No, he started. He ended up starting. Okay, 60 out of those games. So eventually they did put him in the starting lineup. Cool, cool, cool. So, I want to see who made the playoffs and who didn't. Because I just know we did it. I don't know what other teams did. So, the best team in the entire league was the Clippers. Y'all knew that because Coach of the Year and MVP. Kevin Durant kind of carried, right? Kevin Durant kind of carried. Drew Holiday came off the bench and averaged 18. Not Drew Holiday. Lou Williams came off the bench and averaged uh, 18. So, he probably should have won six man of the year. But it looked like KD kind of carried. He averaged 30. 50, 40, 90 club again. Career numbers. 
Then we have this Kemba Russell Westbrook team, second in the Western Conference. Um, the Memphis Grizzlies, Chris Paul, Josh Jackson, Justice Winslow, Jaren Jackson Jr., Vucevic. Playoff birth, baby. Chris Paul leading his team. The Lakers without LeBron did it. Kobe White, <laughs> D'Angelo Russell, Contavious, Anthony Davis, and Boogie with Kevin Love coming off the bench made it. And then the Young Pelicans team end up making the playoffs with Luka and Zion Williamson. And then they also have Jaleel, Chris Dunn, Jackson. They got a lot of young players. Giannis and company did not make the playoffs. The Kings did not make the playoffs with Paul George and Blake Griffin. The Trailblazers, who at Kawhi did not make the playoffs, but it was pretty close, you know? Uh, actually, it wasn't, wasn't that close. Who's the worst team out here? 13 wins for Lonzo, D-Book, Brandon Ingram. 13! That's lower than what Devin Booker usually gets. I thought this team would be better than what Devin Booker's accustomed to, but 13 wins? Wow, that is insane. That is insane. All right, Eastern Conference time. Um, the Cavs made the playoffs, and they were the second seed. Jokic averaged 19, 11, and 7. Wow. Like, even Cal Kuzma, he didn't even have a very good year. So how did this team end up just beating everybody? I'm so confused. Like, is Jokic just that good? I guess Jokic is that good. Oh, rookie Kevin Porter Jr. averaged 11 off the bench, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Dylan Windler, he didn't get much time. But when he was getting time, look at those numbers per 36. The 76 of course, I knew they were going to make the playoffs. That team was stacked. The Celtics, I knew they were going to make the playoffs. The Hawks, Cal Lowry, Cam Reddish, Pascal Siakam. So they end up having John Collins come off the bench eventually. Uh, yeah, he only started the first 25 games. So, the Eastern Conference was trash, basically. That's what it's telling me. The Knicks made it with no real changes, right? This is the real Knicks. They got Buddy Heald coming off their bench now. So, that and that's the real change. And Buddy Heald coming off the bench, he averaged, where is he? 17 off the bench. Those are some really good bench numbers. But this is like the normal Knicks team, except for Buddy. Um, Jimmy Butler's team made the playoffs. We had... Three, four teams that were 500 or below to make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. That's a disgrace. Jimmy Butler and company did make it, though. And then lastly, Julius Randle and Drummond and Derrick Rose, them, made the playoffs. I cannot believe this Bulls team cannot be 500. Just be 500 and you make the playoffs here. And then the worst team out East was John Wall and Porzingis' team. So let's see what happens. My money is on the Clippers. Because they just looked incredible. But they're going against that young Pelicans team. So who knows what's going to go down. Uh, but yeah, they, they eliminate them pretty convincingly. And then basically... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got two upsets over here. Two upsets. Russell Westbrook did not get out of the first round. Again, they lost to the seventh seed. D'Angelo Russell, Kevin Love, Anthony Davis them. I mean, that's a very good team to lose to. And then the Grizzlies. Dwight Howard. Big game seven. Beat Stephen Curry's. Um, right? This is Stephen Curry's team, right? Yeah, they beat Stephen Curry's Nuggets. So the six and the seven seed advance. And then out east, all the higher seeds except for um, James Harden's team got eliminated by Cal Lowry, who went berserk in game seven. Wow. 32 and 18 for, for Kyle Lowry in game seven? Okay, Kyle. All right, so some round twos. See what happens here. I just want a good series. That that um Brooklyn team is just destroying things. But we got a game seven over here, and the Lakers advance in the game seven where they win by 20. Anthony Davis has a big game seven. So we're looking at both LA teams versus Brooklyn and the Cavs. How are the hold on? How are the Cavs? Get in this far. I don't understand it. I don't I swear I don't understand it at all. Can they make it to the finals? The Cavs are in the finals, y'all. The Cavs are in the finals. What the heck world what world are we living in? Hold on, dog. I playoff numbers by team. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, let's look at it this way. In the playoffs, right? Wait, playoff numbers? Are we looking at the playoffs? 
We are looking at the playoffs. Why the heck? Anyway, so in the playoffs in 2K froze. Just like 2K. Um They're just clamping up defensively? Yeah, it looks like they're clamping up defensively. They're the best defensive team, it seems like. Oh, that's the first round. In the entire playoffs. I just know they're not even clamping up, bro. I don't understand how the Cavs. This Cavs team is in the finals right now, y'all. And let's see. Let's see if, if they win this finals. I'm 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 lost. I'm lost. Oh my god. If this is not the most insane ending of a video ever. I just, I don't understand how they just did this. <laughs> wow. That, they, I can't, I don't understand it. It's happened. It happened though. The Cavs just won a championship with one all-star and just the West role players. Basically, the rest of that team was the normal Cavs except for Cal Kuzma. They just went to the championship and won against a very stacked Clippers team. I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Let me know if there's any more like weird experiments like this that you would love to see. I'm all ears until 2K20 drops and then we're expanding into more things than uh, my league. We're going to get into some my team. Maybe some park. We'll see how it goes. This has been Kenny though. I'll be back. Peace.